Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update on this first day of October. Thanks for tuning in here. Let's go right to uh, radar here out of the Pacific Northwest. Storm system with rain and snow, you can see it. That's the preferred storm track right through British Columbia and uh, most of Canada, in fact. And you can see it, we're probably seeing snow at the highest elevations on the coastal range and also up into the interior above probably six to 7,000 feet. But that's it. That's the only game in town. It's otherwise it's high and dry across the West. Let me show you the uh, water vapor satellite imagery here this morning. So on this, your oranges, your red colors, that's your drier air aloft. And there is a lot of dry air with a big area of high pressure still sitting here across the, uh, the Intermountain West and the West Coast. So the storm track, everything running up into BC. So all the weather is being escorted through Alaska, Canada, BC, Northwest Territories. And at times, it will send a cold front down through parts of Wyoming and maybe clipping Colorado with some wind. But by and large, this is a high and dry forecast for most of the West. All right, here are my bullet points for this update here. Not much has changed as far as the storm track, still favoring the same areas. Interior BC, uh, rain, snow, six to 7,000 feet. That's the, the line for that. And it may drop even lower uh, down the road. But um, for everybody else, the lower 48, high pressure remains in control for the Intermountain West through about 1010. There's some indication that we might be able to get a slight pattern shift by mid to late October with storms coming further south into the lower 48. We'll see. But this is the pattern through about 1010. And it's, it's all about the dry air and the abnormally warm temp. So I've been showing you this relative humidity forecast throughout the slices of the atmosphere, the vertical layers each of these days. This is Blanca Peak in Colorado and the San Grita Cristo is one of the 14ers and it's just dominated by dry air all the way out through probably 72 hours at all levels. Um, no moisture being transported anywhere through the atmosphere here. It's just all dry air. That's the case for Colorado's mountains, for Utah and Wyoming, although Wyoming is uh, can expect more wind um, throughout this week than Colorado and Utah, but it's dry air, abnormally warm, and dry. And speaking of that warmth, um, Yellowstone Lake, this is the high temperature forecast all the way through mid-October. The red line is your normal line. That would be a normal high and average high temperature. Every single day, the forecast high is above that. So it is a warm, dry stretch for the, uh, for the Intermountain West all the way through mid-October. And then maybe we can create, maybe there's some sort of pattern shift after that, but and that's pretty warm with highs at Yellowstone Lake at about 60 degrees every single day. All right, let's look at the jet stream forecast here. So here we are by close of business today, storm track favoring um, Canada, BC, Alaska. Here we go, 10-2, uh, 10-3, same kind of thing. Little areas of low pressure sliding through BC very quickly. 10-6, 10 10-7, 10 there's 10-8. Not much of a change through 10-9 and 1010 on the jet stream. Let's look at forecast rain snow. So here we are by 5:30 this afternoon, dry lower 48, all the actions up into parts of BC. Put this into the future. There's a 102 in the afternoon. Uh, 103, next storm system hits BC, 104 into 105, and then that's out of here. Another storm system loads up for 106 into 107 possibly clipping parts of Washington state as it comes through. There's 10-8, another storm system for 10-9 and drops all the way down by 10-10. So the storm track doesn't change. It's totally dry for the lower 48. I don't have any snow forecast um, in the lower 48 except maybe clipping Baker at the very end of the period. Otherwise, you got to go up there to BC at the highest of elevations to really get the snow above six to 7,000 feet. That's when we're gonna to start to see accumulation, but um, you can see it. I mean, there's definitely some accumulation over the higher peaks of the coastal range, higher peaks of the interior. And again, this runs through about 1010. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Again, it's, it's really all about this high and dry pattern, abnormally warm and dry with temperatures running above normal through probably the next 10, maybe even 15 days. All right, take care and have a great day on this first day of October.